Hey everybody, welcome to this episode of Make It With Mod Podge. I'm Kathy Fillion, and today Steve is going to teach you how to create these really cool ticket bowls using Mod Podge satin and rolls of tickets. You ready to do it, Steve? Yes, I am ready to do this, Kath, and thanks. So you heard that right, ticket bowls made out of ticket rolls. Now these are not food grade material bowls, so these are good for coins, keys, wrap candy, all sorts of things. Let's get started. Okay guys, here we are. Hello, we're gonna be making a green ticket bowl and here is the tickets themselves. Now these can be purchased at an office supply store, a party store, or even online and this is what they look like, just like that. So they come in all different colors. We have a yellow one, a purple one, an orange one. So you can check out the colors that you want um and they're online now or office supply stores and party stores the first thing you guys want to do is make sure that you find the end of your tickable ticket and here th this one is and you want to take off about the first 25 tickets because there's glue in these and they're all wound up tightly and there's just you want to get rid of this so you're gonna go all the way around to a point where the ticket is clean. So here we go, so there's the end. So we're gonna take that off. So you wanna remove about two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, I don't know, 25, 20, 20 tickets. You'll see that, you'll be able to see it when you do it. Then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna be using our Satin Mod Podge today and you just want to re-glue down this portion of the ticket. So we're just gonna take a little bit, go right on the back, very simple, and then go right down on top of this ticket, line it up, and then I like to just go right back on over it. Okay, there's your starting point, there we go. So the next thing you're gonna do is, you're going to make sure that your admit one is facing down, because that's gonna be the top rim of the bowl, and you're gonna start working it. I like to start working a little bit in the middle and then work my way out. And it really is just, your hands are your tools on this. So you're gonna be wiggling it and moving it around and you're gonna be able to feel how this works. Use your, use your palm and your fingers and start pushing that out. You can see that happening and it's just slowly, and move slowly. You wanna work slow. You don't wanna go too fast because if you work too fast, you might have a problem with the tickets moving too fast and jumping up too hard and you're not gonna get this nice kind of flush wall look. So you're gonna slowly go and keep moving it around and you're gonna be bending it and you're gonna get a feel of this once you have this in your hands. It just moves nice and slow and you can already see it's starting to form. See that? It's forming that way. And this is the thing about these. You can make these all different sizes. So you can go with a smaller bowl. You can build it up slowly and make a taller bowl, whatever you want. So you can see how I'm doing this. Again, there's no tools. The only tools you have are your fingers, your palms, and you're gonna just be working it. And you can see how kind of fast it moves, how fast the, the tickets move around where it starts to build that bowl up. Okay, so you know what I'm gonna do, guys? I'm gonna do a little movie magic here. I'm gonna do some fast forwarding so you guys don't have to sit here and watch all this, but you can watch it and fast forward and I will be right back. Okay, here I am. I'm almost done. So I wanted to show you guys the very end of it because this is the size bowl I want to make. Again, you can go much taller if you want or you can go shorter. So let me just finish this off and you can see how flexible this starts getting the more the tickets are spread out. And here is the other side. So I'm just going to be bending it more, and there's my bottom. There's a nice flat bottom, I like that. You can see it from this perspective here. 
So that works out nice for me. I think I'm pretty happy with that. Let me see, I've got other bowls. So I'm making a bunch of these, so I wanna make sure that they're all a little bit different sizes. So I think that would look nice. And again, just pushing up with my hands. Okay, there we go. So the next step you wanna do is you wanna make sure that your top ticket, the visible one is kind of lined up properly because I'm gonna be adding the Satin Mod Podge. And once you add the Satin Mod Podge, this is what's gonna keep your whole entire bowl in place. So here's our Satin Mod Podge that we're using, guys. The satin, if you guys have never used it before, it is between the gloss and the matte. So the matte is super glossy, and the gloss is super glossy, and the matte is a matte finish. This one is right in between. I love satin. Um, I'm starting to use it more and more lately. Okay. So what I like to do is I like to start in the middle and the inside of the bowl, and you're just going to add your satin or your matte or your gloss, whichever one you want to use, whatever look you want. And you're going to put this just directly right on top of the bowl. And you can see I'm, it's not a thin layer. This is a nice thick layer because you want this to absorb right inside your bowl and this is what's gonna hold your bowl together. So I wanna make sure that I go all the way around and I hit all areas, because you certainly don't want this to move around once it dries, because it will collapse. So here we go, going in there, making sure that there's not any clumps. You know, just spread that out all the way across your bowl. get that all the way around. Okay, so you understand that, I'm sure. Very simple, because I'm gonna move on over to the in, the outside. Okay, there we go. So there we go, we have it. Um, I will work on this a little bit more once I'm finished here. Just get the, t get the, the, uh, the rim here. Seal that down. And then, what's nice about it, it has these holes in it. So you can use that. And I'm gonna go directly on top of the tickets. The Admit One Ticket. I remember these from the good old days at the carnival that I haven't been to in so long, but that's what it reminds me of, because that's what they are. And then just make sure you get into these nooks and crannies. This is, this is very important to make sure that your Mod Podge goes all the way in there. Because again, remember Mod Podge is a glue and a sealer. And the, it's gonna just hold this bowl together. Okay. Almost done. Let's do a little fast forwarding. Here we go. Okay, we are done. There we go. It was a little messy today. Look at all this mud posh. Okay, so guys, the next step is you wanna let this dry. You can let this uh, set for a couple hours, and if you wanted to add a second coat, you can, but not. it's not necessary. Um, so here is our bowl. Um, the next thing I wanna do is I like to put a piece of felt on the bottom of it, and unfortunately, I made this bowl a little bit too big. Um, I was expecting to make another bowl kind of like this. So the felt, um, you just cut a little piece of felt out and put it right on the bottom. So this one's not gonna work. Uh, it's more like our purple one here. Uh, you can see that you just make it fit to the size of the bottom of your bowl. I'm really liking this shape. So we have three different shapes right now. Um, the orange one's gonna be next, so we'll make that a different shape. And there it is. There is a ticket bowl using Mod Podge.
And these bowls are always so much fun to make. So I just finished the orange one. You saw me make the green one. Um, I hope you guys check this out. It's a really fun project. And don't forget to hashtag Vodpage and hashtag Plant Crest because we always love to see what you guys are making. And come back next Thursday for another episode of Make It With Mod Podge. And I've got to put these down because they're still wet. See you next time. Bye.